Hey guys, Jason. And here recently, Wolfram Alpha has added Bitcoin. Now, no, they don't accept Bitcoin as a payment source, but they do allow you to use the search ter term Bitcoin. Now, a lot of people say this isn't that important, but it kind of is. A lot of people use Wolfram Alpha for mathematical problems, for computational problems. It's a really intriguing site. I use it all the time for math homework, so it's really awesome. But one thing that really sets Wolfram Alpha different than a lot of other places, because, you know, yeah, another site might add, you know, Bitcoin, but what's the importance of it? Well, something that's really important is Apple, as we all know the, the program Siri that runs on all the new smartphones for Apple. Well, Siri uses protocol language that connects to Wolfram Alpha. It basically pulls and requests information from their server as like trigger request. So what happens is if you, you, know, you press the Siri button and you ask, you know, Siri, what is the current price of Bitcoin? Beforehand, it wouldn't really know. It wouldn't have a way to find that information out easily. But now it uses that search term. It queries Wolfram Alpha. Wolfram Alpha uses the API protocols from Mt. Gox and is able to stream that information to the end user of the iPhone, which I think is really interesting. It adds that characteristics and that ability for the average user to be able to really get Bitcoin into the average everyday life. So something as simple as being able to press your phone and ask Siri, you know, what is the Siri, what is the current price of Bitcoin? And that ability to be, you know, knowledgeable at that exact moment kind of adds to the reliability and kind of the stability of Bitcoin just because it, it makes it more well known. You know, if someone doesn't know what Bitcoin is now, you know, they could always search what is Bitcoin and then Siri would direct them to the Google search. But to be able to have that price, you know, at your fingertips instantly without even having to type anything in, I think is remarkable. And it's not just Apple and Siri that's affected by this. It's search engines like DuckDuckGo, which use API protocols from Wolfram Alpha. So this is just an exciting thing. You know, people have been talking about how they really want Wolfram Alpha to add this and they've been, they now have. Now, Wolfram Alpha, you know, also has some really cool stuff. They had the 52-week high, the 52-week low. They had some really interesting charts and the average medium price. So just some really cool stuff that Wolfram Alpha has implemented now for Bitcoin. And now you're actually even seeing a lot of the cryptocurrencies, you know, Litecoin, Peercoin. They're all kind of pressing for the hope that Wolfram Alpha will add them as well. They kind of get, you know, their name up to the level of Bitcoin with this new implementation of the software, which is just, it's really cool, you know, it one of those really awesome things that when these exchanges like, you know, Coinbase or Mt. Gox open up their API protocols for anyone to use and allows the sites like Wolfram Alpha or Google to search and use those API protocols to give information to the average everyday user, which I think is very crucial if we want Bitcoin to become mainstream. So anyway, guys, I just thought that was really interesting. It kind of, one of those things, you know, I was looking for in 2011 when I got into Bitcoin, 2012. And now it's the end of 2013 and Wolfram Alpha has finally come through to us. So I think it's just something really, really noteworthy and it's really awesome. So anyway, guys, have a great night.